The holiday season wouldn't be complete without festive cookies. And today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to roll out your cookie dough, no matter what type of cookie dough it is. I'm using gingerbread dough today, which is notorious for being very, very sticky, and you have to use a lot of flour to be able to roll it out and cut it. But I'm gonna show you my trick in rolling out cookie dough that's fast, efficient, and flour free. I'm gonna take about a third of the dough here and place it in some plastic wrap. And what I like to do is form the dough into whatever shape I'm gonna roll it out to. So in this case, I'm going to shape it into a rectangle. This just helps to roll out evenly. This is a nice rectangle. And now what I'm going to do is take a silpat, one of these nice non-stick baking mats. And you could certainly use parchment here, but I prefer a silpat because it is so non-stick. And it's rigid enough where you can move it from place to place. So the same plastic wrap I use to form the dough, I'm just gonna place it right over top. And I'm gonna roll this out to a scant quarter inch. And I like to use a rolling pin that has the ball bearings here, the handles and the ball bearings, because I feel like it evenly rolls out the dough. The bonus here in not using an excessive amount of flour. What happens is when you use too much flour, it absorbs into the dough and it will toughen up your cookies. So you'll end up with something that's more like a cracker and less tender, like the gingerbread cookies we want for the holiday season. So this looks good. If you have one of these on hand, this is a plastic bench scraper or plastic bowl scraper. Anything with a soft, straight edge, nothing too sharp. What you can do is you can spread the dough out a little bit. If it's uneven, you don't want a thick part to a cookie and a thin part to a cookie. So this kind of helps here in smoothing out the dough, almost like you would if you were spackling something. Gently kind of nudge it out to the sides and even out the dough. And now this goes into the refrigerator or the freezer until it's really well chilled. So it's very, very firm and we can cut out our wonderful holiday shapes. Our dough is nicely chilled. It's firm to the touch and that's really what you're looking for. Save your plastic wrap so that you can re-roll your scraps. It's always good to dip your cutters in some bench flour so that nothing sticks to the cutter itself. I'm gonna cut out little snowflake shapes as close as you can to the edge of the dough so that you really maximize the space you have. Cut out your shapes. Now you can pull away the negative and that negative can be re-rolled to make more cookies. If your dough is really well chilled, there shouldn't be too much stickage here. You can gently nudge the dough off. And the really great thing about using a sill pad, a nonstick baking mat, is that you can roll the cookie dough right on the sill pad and then you can bake it right on the sill pad as well. I'll do some smaller snowflakes. And now what I like to do is just take away all of the excess dough, the negative dough, and re-roll that and then adjust your cookies so that they're about an inch apart so that when they puff up in the oven, they don't bake into one another. So always consult your recipe for temperatures and times. This gingerbread recipe that I'm using is a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 22 minutes, depending on the size of the cookie cutter you're using. But if you're using a sugar dough recipe or any other cookie recipe, always use your recipe's temperatures and times. So into the oven. The gingerbread cookies are out of the oven. Make sure you cool them on a wire rack before you begin decorating them. And you can see how nicely they turned out here. They've kept their wonderful intricate shape and they haven't baked into one another either. So it's very important that you space them out at least an inch. I don't know about you, but I think this is the easiest method to roll out your cookie dough, whether it's gingerbread, whether it's sugar cookie or whatever your holiday favorite cookie recipe is. So there you have it, my tip to you, enjoy.